Hi guys, it's the Macintosh Guide and I'm back again with a brand new video. Now this week I'm going to show you how to install Tails OS on a Windows laptop or PC. Now in this instance I'm using my gaming laptop on the go Zephyrus G15 2022 model and for my work we sometimes need to boot into Tails OS to do some private communication. So sit back, relax guys and enjoy this quick video. So guys, it's very quick and easy. All you're gonna have to do is hop over to Tails' website, go click on Install Tails from Windows. As you'll see here, Install Tails, select the Windows one, and then it'll take you to this very beautiful page. Now, it already says download Tails, verify download, download Balena Etcher, install Tails using Balena Etcher, restart on Tails using USB stick and then welcome to Tails. So it's very quick and easy guys, there's no like issues in terms of doing this, it's very easy. You can do this on an Intel based Mac as well, which is quite a handful. Um, but all you need to do is you need to click on download Tails first of all. So as you can see, I've already done that right here. And then what you need to do is you need to then verify your download. Now in this instance, it's going to be the download I just did. So if I click on the selector installer and I try to go to, uh, well, hang on a minute, my laptop was being absolutely weird. So click on Tails, click open, and then it will verify Tails while this is going on. So now that we have verified our download. It's a simple matter of now downloading Balena Etcher. So all you need to do is click on download Balena Etcher for Windows and it will start downloading in this instance. So I've already got a version downloaded but it suggests you to download the portable version. It doesn't really matter which Balena Etcher version you install guys. So all we now need to do is double click on Balena, Balena Etcher portable and then let's just give it a second. And then you can see it's already seen the SanDisk USB. All we need to do is click on Flash from File, select our Tails OS file, and then click on Flash. And then it should say, do you want to allow it? Yes, we do. And then we should start seeing some progress. So I'm going to let this run. So now I've switched over to my camera and as you can see it says that it, the flash has completed. So I'm just going to zoom in a bit. As you can see the flash is completed. And all we now need to do is just close Belena Etcher. Press the Windows Start key. Click on the power icon. And then hold Shift. And then press Restart. And this will take a couple of seconds. Sorry, guys, you might not be able to see this very clearly. But it should hopefully come out decent enough for you to see. And let's see if I can bring the laptop just a bit closer. So you guys can see a bit better. So still holding shift, as you can see. You can see the Republic of Gamers. And now you can let go because it says, please wait. And now we have booted in to Windows' troubleshoot menu. So in our instance, we've got the USB stick plugged in, as you can see right here. All we need to do is use a device. And in my instance, it's the removable device. You click enter. And it's going to be very, very difficult for you guys to be able to see this, guys. But I've closed my curtains just to be able to show you. The screen will show a quick little menu, you can't see this, but it says Tells 5.16.1, Troubleshoot, and also Boot From Do It USB. In our instance, we just let it just do it by itself. It will just automatically select the first option. And you see right here, it's just booting the OS. And the screen, I'm telling you guys, because my laptop screen is very high resolution, it's going to be very tiny for you guys to read, so I'm going to just try and zoom in as much as I can to show you. 
And I apologize about the background noises. I live right next to neighbors who have a farm going on. So yeah, and now you can see guys, we've booted in into the operating system. And there you go. So let's just quickly go through the setup phase for this. So guys, we're obviously now into the setting up screen for Tails OS. And guys, this is really it. This is the only setup screen you're going to see. It's that quick and easy to install. So in our instance, it's saying that United States is the language and the keyboard layout is US English. We are actually in the United of Kingdom, my home country, my bride. And you can automatically see the keyboard layout has now changed to English UK. The format is now United Kingdom English. Um, you can create this as a persistent storage, which means that you can actually use this as a main OS if you want to. Um, and one of the other benefits of Tails OS is you literally can boot it up from the USB stick, set it up. If you need to use it about for, for about 10, 20 minutes, you can use it for 10, 20 minutes. And then as soon as you shut down, everything's gone. It just completely erases everything um, except your, your main OS, which is obviously Windows at this instance, um, which is great. I mean, I love that. It allows me to quickly boot up Tails OS instance, do my private communication that I need to. And then all and then it's all gone it's all encrypted it's it, there's nothing for me to worry about so i've got the options i needed in this instance and then all i need to do is just click on tails os and you shall now see the screen is going to slowly boot up in a second and boom we're in guys it was that quick and easy tails os is really really quick and easy to install and you can see a couple of options there sorry guys it's not probably as clear as i want it to be um but it's the best i could really do with the quality i've got um you can see there's activities applications places um so yeah guys tails os very quick and simple now one thing you might be noticing is why on earth is it saying that it's telling me to open up onion uh, circuit so to access the internet you need to use the tor network which is the Tor connection. So if I click on Tor browser, it will give me a message that says the following. It says Tor is not ready. Start browser anyway. Or all we need to do is click on open Tor connection. And there you go. So it'll tell us everything you do on the internet from Tails goes through Tor network. Tor encrypts anonymous, encrypts and anonymizes your connection by passing it through three relays. The relays, Tor relays are servers operated by different organizations and volunteers around the world. Connect to a local Tor network. So if I click on my Wi-Fi setting, it's going to show me a bunch of networks that are around me. Um, so yeah, it's it, that's how you access the internet on here. Use the Tor browser. Um, this is a Linux based system. So you're going to get all the great benefits of Linux. Um, but I, as I mentioned, I use this for secure communication uh, due to my job. I have to do a lot of private communications through these channels. So, guys, that's how you install Tails OS. It's a very quick and simple guide. I'm going to link some videos in the description that I think will benefit you if you want to have this operating system as your main operating system. I don't know why you'd want to do that. In all honesty, I would suggest to keep this as one of those quick and easy um operating systems which is what tails is really used is, is designed for um but guys if you enjoyed this video like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one and just to let you know guys you saw this laptop was running windows 11 we're going to downgrade that to windows 10 so i'll see you then guys